What's happening, everybody? This is Knife Life 777 coming to you today with another knife or two. Today we have the Benchmade Bailout in M4. We also have a clone of the Bailout. We will get to that. First, I'm going to show you the real thing and give you some specs and tell you what I think about it. And then we will compare this one to the clone. Sorry for the shaky camera. Um, hopefully, we can get through it. Okay, so... The real bailout comes in a typical Benchmade box. Five thirty seven GY one. It comes in the black box. For tactical, we have typical Axis sticker, paperwork, and of course the Benchmade felt bag or whatever it's made out of. Take a good look at the inside of the box because you need to remember for when I show you the cologne box. Okay, enough about that. Boom. I've been wanting to get my hands on this knife for a while. I just haven't pulled the trigger until recently. Um, now, this is not exactly how it comes stock. I did put a custom thumb stud on here. Basically, I used the the back of the stock thumb stud with a screw and I put this green ring around it. And also I used a bigger um, pocket clip because I don't like the shorty clips, but we'll get to that. So, Let's get some specs on this guy, and then we will do some size comparisons to show you what we're working with. Um, the overall length is 8.07 inches. We have a blade length of 3.38 inches. We have a cutting edge of 3.125 inches. We have a blade width of one inch. A blade thickness of 0 0.09 inches. We have a blade of M4 steel. We have a Tanto with a flat grind, gray finish, and a plain edge. This also comes in serrated version. Um, we have a handle length of 4.7 inches. A handle width of one inch. A handle thickness of 0.39 inches. We have an aluminum handle with a green color coating. We have a weight of 2.7 ounces, but we will weigh it ourselves just to make sure. I think my scale batteries are starting to go. Yeah. 
Either that or it's the 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 material on the table. Here, I'm laying it on the ground. 2.8 ounces. It is the uh, uneven texture of my table covering. So, it weighed out to 2.8 ounces. Sorry about that. We have a right hand or left hand tip up pocket clip position. Manual deployment. Benchmade Actus Lock. This is the bailout 537GY-1. Let's do some size comparisons here so we know what we're working with. Here is the Benchmade 560-1 Freak, a.k.a. Super Freak. With a longer, bit longer blade and about the same handle length. Here we have the Benchmade Mini Crooked River. This one I built at the Benchmade Custom Shop. This one also has M4 steel because I love M4 steel. Very similar cutting edge with the uh, Crooked River having just a, a bit more and almost exact handle length. Excuse me. Here it is against the Spidey Chef. Cutting edge, the Spidey Chef has just a tad bit more, and the Bela has a bit more handle. But if you took off the pommel, it would be very close. Here we have the Spider Co Shaman. The bailout is a little bit longer on the cutting edge and the handles are about the same size and for the last size comparison we are going to grab another knife with a Tonto I'm not a huge fan of Tonto's all Tonto's but I like some I like certain ones and these two I happen to like very much here is the Chris Reeve Large in Kosi with the micarta. Cutting edge is eerily similar. Look at that. And handle length goes to the Chris Reeve by a tad bit. Yeah, look at those blades. Beautiful. Okay, now. I'm going to tell you what I do and don't like about this uh, particular knife. And then we will get to the co clone comparison. All right, likes. First thing, M4 steel. I love M4 steel. It's my favorite steel. I particularly like Benchmade's M4 Steel. They do an excellent heat treat, treat job. Um, I love this blade grind. Uh, this is a beautiful looking Tanto, Tonto, whatever you want to call it. Love it. Love the grind. The swedge up here. Um, the action. The action is super smooth. Um, it came just a tad bit um tight but after you um flick it a few times and maybe tighten the or loosen the pivot just a little bit um the action is perfect 
Um, and a good thing is, Benchmades tend to have when you have the, especially when you have the black axis lock, to um, have some resistance on the action, and you have to work them in a lot to get them to flick and drop shut. But this one, it was perfect. Um, next thing, blade centering. Absolutely perfect. Next, I like the color scheme. I love the color green, and I like the green and black color scheme on this. It looks nice. I like it. Um, next, the upgraded scales. The first bailout had the black grivery scales, or grivery, or however you say it. And these scales are a lot more rigid. They are stronger. You cannot bend them. Um, and they did come a bit chalky at first, but after you handle it for a while, um, it smooths out a bit, and it feels nice. Next, what I don't like about the knife. First, first thing, the pommel. I don't like the pommel. I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the way it feels. The, uh... The, the glass breaker tip digs into your hand when you deploy and shut the knife. And also, when you reach in your pocket, your hand hits it sometimes. It's not a huge deal, but it's just something that I don't like. Nitpicky. Um, next. And this is also me nitpicking. I don't like the smaller mini deep carry clip. So I upgraded to the longer clip, but that's just me. I know a lot of people like the mini clip, but that's just what I don't like about it. Next thing, jimping. I know the blade stock is thin, and there is some jimping here, but it's not the greatest. It's not very grippy. It doesn't stick out. It's recessed. I wish there would be a little bit of jimping on the blade stock. If you've seen the Wee Banter... Um, which is the video before this I just released. Um, they have just a little bit of jimping on the blade. The blade sock is very thin, just like this. They just have a little bit right here, and it's very effective. So maybe if, um, if this had some jimping like that, it would be as eff effective. But again, that's just me nitpicking. And uh, one more thing, a thought is I was thinking that possibly instead of buying a, a backspacer pommel delete, you could just get an extra standoff and put it here because there's two scre screws that hold this pommel in, one here and one under the pocket clip on the other side. And I'm thinking if you put a uh, standoff there that it will replace the backspacer. And I'm going to try it soon. I just wanted to keep the knife as st stock as possible so I could do this video. Next, we are going to compare this to the clone. So, oh, sorry. Here is the clone. The clone is on the bottom. The clone comes with this paperwork, which is similar to the bench to the actual paperwork, but I think the benchmades is folded like this. Also comes with the axis sticker, which the stock on this is a lot thinner and it is made out of laminated plastic instead of cardboard and as you may notice here we'll just compare boxes right off the rip here axis stickers the real one being on the bottom is different 
The font's different. It feels different. The real one's thicker. Here's the real Benchmade paperwork. The one, the one from the clone is bigger. Uh, the the wording is spaced out differently. But I believe that it's all the same. Uh, oh no, it's not. Oh, okay. All right. A fine cutting tool. Your Benchmade was designed. Okay. So the wording is right. Just the order of the sections are off. So, um, paper feels pretty much the same, but the coloring and everything is spaced out differently. The biggest thing is the styrofoam. This is the real Benchmade styrofoam. Classic has um, the, the little cracks in between. It looks like um, like a dried up beach or a dried up uh, uh, dirt like from the outside of a body of water. The clone, it's just this typical styrofoam. Next, the lids. The uh, clone, the sticker is laminated and shiny. The real one is not. The lids are very similar except the shade of the black on the real one is a bit duller and on the clone it's more of a shinier finish. And the, the little lines in the background are more pronounced on the clone version. Now, on the clone, for the steel, the real one says M4, but the clone says 3V. All the words on here besides that are pretty much spot on, except for the, the tactical and everyday carry. Here's the real one is backwards. This says everyday carry and tactical. This one says tactical and everyday carry. Um, the clone did not come with the felt Benchmade bag. They usually do, but this one did not. All right, now let's move on to the knives itself themselves. Sorry guys. Here I'll get this out of here. Okay. Now on the clone the scale is shinier. It doesn't have the chalky finish. It's shiny. It is aluminum, but it is a completely different finish. Um, <clears throat> on the clone, the scales aren't recessed like on the real thing. On the real one, see how the screws are recessed down? On the clone, they stick up. They're not recessed. Um, the pommels are different. The clone has the pommel from the... Benchmade 3V version. It does not have this glass breaker on there. And the pommels here are not interchangeable. I cannot put the, this one on to the real one. I tried and it does not work. Next, the blade. The finishes look very similar. But um, on the real one, the finish, it feels a little bit gritty, like sandy. On the real one, it's smooth. I believe they use a paint instead of whatever Cerakote finish or whatever is on the real one. Um, on the clone, the steel says 3V instead of M4. 
clone being on top. They both say Benchmade.com. Um, the logo, the real one being on top. The logo is actually more, more clear on the clone. On the top one, the, the numbers are kind of faded. On the clone, they are not. Also, the thumb stud on the clone is smaller. The thumb studs. The jimping is pretty much. Oh no, it's actually a little bit different. The jimping is um, less pronounced on the clone, and it looks different. Also, the handle thickness, the clone is thinner than the real one. Now, on the clone, the pivot you cannot adjust because when you turn it, I don't know if you can see that, but it just spins and the back spins too. Look at that. So, you cannot adjust the clone. The pocket clip is shiny, has a shiny finish. On the Benchmade one, it has the same finish as this one. It is kind of a matte finish, and it, uh, it has a, like a battle wear on it. The, the, the paint has like a, uh, it looks like it was used. Like it has a rougher um, wear to it. Also, the clip on here is super, super rigid. It is has virtually no spring to it. I can't even get my hand in there and pull it up. It's, like, solid. Um, and the clip on the other one had, on the real one, had spring to it. So, um, now the action on the clone, it came super stiff. You cannot drop it like the real one, the real one just drops shut. You cannot get that on the clone. Um, I messed with it, I tried to break it in forcefully. Um, I, I looped it up and it did nothing. You cannot drop it. Um, you can kind of flick it shut. It does deploy fairly easily and you can whip it shut like this, but the action is pretty terrible. Um, so yeah. I got the clone on AliExpress for about $30 shipped. It came in about three weeks, maybe three and a half. Um, it's good to have in case maybe you need extra, an extra blade or extra parts. Um, but overall, I don't think the clone is nearly as good as the, 